Although the Bible doesn't specific mentions if the disciples were baptized or not. To answer the question where Jesus disciples baptized? First we know, that Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. Jesus asked John to baptize him in the Jordan River, where John was baptizing others. Interesting enough, Jesus started his ministry right after he was officially baptized, not before. And that's important to know, because when Jesus performed the miracle of turning water into wine at a wedding. At the time, Jesus told his mother, woman, my time has not come yet. Which clearly indicates that he knew there was something still missing in the process of his ministry. Baptism in the name of Jesus Christ spiritually speaking, is basically receiving the same spirit and breath of God that God the Father breathed into Adam's nostrils. It's the same Holy Spirit, because God is a holy God. And that's the same spirit that we receive in baptism after we've received Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And the simple logic behind this, is found in Genesis when Adam and Eve both received the breath of God, and we know it was given to both, because that's what gave them life in the Garden of Eden. Something else that God gave them is their individual identity. Because before God had created them, God the Father declared the following over them, Let us make man in our image and likeness. And the Lord's spoken word intertwined with the physical breath of God is what gave Adam and Eve eternal life. And that same breath of eternal life which lives in God and His Son Jesus Christ is what gave Adam and Eve full access to the Garden of Eden, the full blessings of God, divine protection and also abundant eternal life. But when Adam and Eve sinned against God in disobedience, the very moment they took a bite of the forbidden fruit, the fruit that came from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which God had clearly told them not to eat from it, because if they did they would die, so at that very moment they took a bite of the fruit, there was an instant spiritual separation from God and His Holy Spirit. This is made clear when God tells us in 2 Corinthians 6:14, For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? Which means that the outcome of sin, brings spiritual separation from the Holy Spirit of God. And because of it, Adam and Eve lost all the blessings and protections from the God who loved them and created them. In an instant of disobedience they lost all the free access God had provided them in the Garden of Eden. So much was the separation, that God cast them out of the eternal Garden of Eden, and the Lord went as far as to placing an angel and a flaming sword at the door of the Garden so they could not return. This drastic and dramatic event in Genesis, also shows us how the evil serpent lied to Adam and Eve when the serpent told Eve, No. You will not surely die. As if God was lying to them. But what the Lord meant was a spiritual death, meaning a total separation from the holiness and protection of God Almighty, including, the complete separation of eternal life. For this reason, it's important to understand the power of baptism. Baptism is more than just a public declaration or an outward expression. Baptism is the most powerful event in human history, because it's what makes us a new creation, reconnecting with the Holy Spirit of God, as if He Himself, breathed the breath of life into our nostrils. Only that this time, because of Jesus Christ and His work on the cross and His victory and His resurrection, this second breath of life is received in the baptism of a child of God in a powerful spiritual form. Basically the baptism through Jesus Christ means, a return to the official, physical state we once had in the Garden of Eden. Spiritually connecting us once again with the Spirit of the Living God. Which can only be obtained by receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and through water baptism. Baptism is so important to the process of receiving Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Jesus said in Matthew 28 19-20. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Notice how Jesus orders them to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There, we see the Spirit of God mentioned again, which is the Holy Spirit that we received after being baptized making us a new creation. Being baptized in water is God's seal of approval and this is key to understand. Baptism is not a sprinkle of water, but a complete emerged in water, just like Jesus did. And we know this, because when Jesus was baptized the Word of God says, and immediately, Jesus coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. Mark 1:10. So, going back to the question. Were Jesus' disciples baptized? The answer is yes. Even if the Bible doesn't mention it, we do see that Jesus knew and understood the importance of being baptized in the Holy Spirit, 
before starting a ministry. The Bible does declare the disciples did baptize many, here is the scripture that proves it. Now when Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John, although Jesus himself did not baptize, but only his disciples, Jesus left Judea and departed again for Galilee. John 4 1-3. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel to see more gospel videos.